Well, hello again from Central Virginia. Sometimes I get ideas. And today I had an idea. So we're going to see if this works. It might not. It might. But literally, I have nothing to lose. And I'll tell you why. Over the winter, I was storing my potatoes uh, in this nylon sack that was in the closet <laughs> hanging up. And, uh, you know, I wasn't in the farmhouse for a couple of months this winter. And I came back to this. <laughs> These potatoes are just sprouting. And so I thought, well, why not try to plant them? At this point, you can't eat them. So I'm going to create um, an experimental bed. We're going to see how it works. It might not work, but it might. I'm going to be building this bed right behind me, um, sort of where that white bucket is, where the blueberry row ends, and maybe down a little bit. You know me, I decided you can never have too many garden beds. All right, so why have I got nothing to lose in this? Uh, I'll show you why. You know how they um, talk about chip drop? Uh, well, this wasn't chip drop. This was the power company doing uh, contractor trimming trees and things. And while I wasn't here, they came to the winery, which is on the property, and said, hey, uh, you wanted chips last year. Is it okay if we drop chips? And the folks there said, yeah, we usually get a pile of wood chips, one every year or so, and that kind of keeps us in wood chips. Well, this is what they dropped. And I came back two weeks later and <laughs> this mountain of wood chips appeared. So I got nothing to lose because I got a lot of wood chips. As I said, I'm gonna be building this right on the grass. I'm gonna weed whack down the grass as far as I can. And then I am going to put a load of wood chips there. And I'm going to add into that wood chip pile sprinkle it liberally with blood meal, which is all nitrogen. So hopefully that will really get composting happening. And then I'm going to water in those wood chips with fish fertilizer, fish emulsion. Then I'm going to put on top of this, this is age old topsoil that has been sitting at my father-in-law's house for years. I mean, years and years. So I figured, okay, I'll just take it and um, I'll put this on top of the wood chips. And then I'll top the whole thing off with some hay. And we'll plant the potatoes and all of that and see if they grow. Will it work? I have no idea. But you know, I'm gonna get started with that weed whacking. Next, chips. Let's start breaking this in and see what we got. Me pretty good. Yeah, this is pretty good. I don't think I'm going to need another load of chips. I'll be coming in and adding to the pathways here. Um, since I'm making new beds, just can't help myself. I don't know what I'm going to do if I ever have enough beds. This is blood meal, and it's a high nitrogen 1200. So this is going to interact with the carbon in those chips and that will help it um, you know get composting down faster i'll be raking this in probably the coyotes will be coming around tonight to see what they can find as long as i'm tucked in my little betty bed bed i'm okay with that next we're going to water this in with fish emulsion about a quarter cup nice and wet. The wetter, the better. I'm going to put a little hay just underneath as well. This is already rotting down, so that'll be a nice pre-composting medium there. So if the potatoes grow into that, that'd be all right. Next comes the ancient, ancient soil. This stuff is so friggin' heavy. Wish I had my big heavy, heavy lifting son here, but he did not come home this year for spring break. He went on a service trip, so I'm very proud of him for doing that, but I could use him along about now. 
Oh my gosh. I have no earthly idea how long this soil has been there and if it has any life in it at all. But I'm gonna put some compost down too. So hopefully that can help bring some activation into this. Whew, I mentioned those bags were heavy. All right, so I got that down. Now I'm gonna to to put some compost down. Here's a compost layer. Let's get those potatoes. I'm tired. Put them around. I'm gonna put them down in. Yeah. Ah, look at this. That's crazy. Totally crazy. Will it grow? I don't know. As I said, what is the absolute worst thing that could happen here? They don't grow. In which case they don't grow, but I've got a bed that's all set and ready to go. Check that out. Just lost my microphone. Sprinkle some fertilizer on this. Some hay. So there you have it. That took me about 45 minutes total to do, including going down and getting the hay and getting all the things together. So it was a relatively quick build. Um, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Hey, how do you like my t-shirt that my great niece gave me, which is a hint to you to be sure to like and subscribe and to share um, my channel with other people. Thank you so much for watching today. Hope you're well.